Every time I hit the corner, I be turning heat. I be turning heat. I be, I be turning heat. Every time I hit the corner, I be turning heat. I be turning heat. I be, I be turning heat. This is your boy D Landry of One Entity Productions. I'm here with uh, the ever illustrious Kyle Hubbard. Um, he is another performer at uh, Fly Fest 2012. And uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions, questions that he has not been prepared on. He doesn't know what I'm going to ask him, but he knows that none of them are music related. None of them. So before we get started, just kind of tell them, we already know who you are, but yes. just tell them um, where you're from and just... Well, my name is Kyle Hubbard, born and raised in Houston, Texas. Uh, straight up, Houston, Texas, born and bred, Houston pumping through my veins. Whoop. All right. So here's the first question. Have you ever been overseas? And if so, what was your favorite experience? I have been, well, is Mexico overseas? It's not, is it? Okay. Not technically, but let's go ahead and go with it. Yes. I got there <laughs> via cruise ship. Okay, okay. overseas. Yes, exactly. There exactly. you go. We had just graduated high school and we just got super drunk. We were like 18 year old kids, super drunk in Mexico. It was awesome. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Any experience in particular? You no, just just the being super drunk. Okay. <laughs> I was a kid. I was a kid. Give me a break. I was okay. A kid. Cool, cool. Um, why is there? So, we we know we doing doing research on you. We know that uh, you're you're very big in the comic books. Yes. Yes. Why do you think there is such a connection between rap and comics? I don't know. That's a really great question because the correlation is definitely there. And I mean, a lot of dudes who spit are into comics. There's a lot of people there. I don't know. I know, the for me, you know what? I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what the correlation is. Maybe we're all just, all just nerds. We're just all, we're all geeks. Rappers are geeks. Even the tough ones, they're just all fucking geeks. <laughs> all right. What's your favorite shoe brand? My favorite shoe brand? Whatever I have on at the moment. I'm not, I'm not a very fashion forward individual. I am partial to Adidas just because I've been wearing them since middle school. Although I do not have Adidas on right now. I know, hypocrite. But with that said, I lean towards Adidas, but I really don't care. I really don't care. I got some, some dirty Nikes on right now. So. <laughs> All right. More research about you. Yes. We know you have a song called Sorority Girl. Oh. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Panhellenic Council? And if so, what's your favorite sorority in the Panhellenic Council? I'm not, I don't understand anything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> sorority Girl is, a, is a, a song I did way back when that I don't really want to particularly own. I don't want you to look up. It's uh, it was just about an ex-girlfriend. It was a sorority girl. It was just you okay. know, I don't know what else to say. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> don't look it up. You're not that special. Look this up. Look this up. I'm proud of this. I'm proud of this. <laughs> um, all right. So now we're gonna go back in the way back machine. Way back machine. We did a little bit more deep research on you, <laughs> and I'm gonna say a phrase. Okay. Oh, okay. Ten shillings, six pence. Does that have any relation to you? Uh, not, no, no, no. Maybe an old logo you used to have? Oh, oh, shit, yeah. Because when I was 21, I released, uh, I released a project, for lack of a better term. It was a monstrosity, really. And uh, it was called Tea Time with Alice. It was a theme album based off Alice in Wonderland. And the logo was the Mad Hatter's hat with that in the card in the hat. Which has something to do with the material it's made from. I don't even know. Ten shillings, six pence. How much it costs? There you go. Don't look that up either. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and throw that back up. You're not that special. You're not that special. Okay, Get so, that. so now that you've promoted your album, yes. what's the one thing that you would say to your fans right now? The one thing I would say to my fans, if you're a fan of me and you support what I do, tell somebody else. And have that person tell somebody else. And have that person tell somebody else. That is the best promotional tool in the world. Word of mouth. And that's why we need fans because y'all talk about us. So talk about me. Tell your friends about Kyle Hubbard. And you're not that special. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. I like that. Thank you. Who's your favorite nonfiction author? Nonfiction author? Man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know, dude. All right, I can't remember the guy's name, but he wrote this book called Ring of Hell, which is about Chris Benoit. But Chris Benoit was the vehicle to kind of expose the wrestling industry, which fascinates me. I think all rappers can find a lot to relate to with professional wrestlers because just, just, 
read, read the book. It's called Ring of Hell. I don't remember the guy's name. It's a great book, though. And that's the last book I read, so he's, he's the winner for now. Okay. <laughs> and finally, how do you feel about the drive from Katy to the inner loop? Uh, you know, there was a time that I hated it, but I've done it so many times, so many times, that it's just, uh, it's just a part of who I am now. It's just a part of my fabric, which makes me sick to say. But yeah, I spend a lot money, a lot more money on gas than I'd like to. But that's charged to the game, right? No, they charge it to me. The game doesn't reimburse. <laughs> <laughs> so charge it to me. So. Anything else would, that you'd like to say to the people out there? Get your Fly Fest tickets. $13. Sean Price, Guilty Simpson, Kill Cal Young, ESG, Jackie Chain, Doe Beasy, Kyle Hubbard, Rogue Scholar <laughs> Fires, Bruce Williams. For $13? That's crazy. Yeah. But in all seriousness, this is a huge event. This is a big deal. And if you want to see this city's hip hop scene progress and grow, this is an event you need to be at, and that is a completely serious statement. Support your underground, support the people on this bill, and you're going to get a great show. And download You're Not That Special. It's free, and it's awesome. Can I brag? It was in the Houston Chronicle, and they liked it. One last thing. Yes. Tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash KyleHubbardHTX, at Twitter at KyleHubbardHTX, and you can go directly to my music in case you don't want to get to know me anymore at kylehubbard.bandcamp.com. But if you get at me on the social networks, I will talk to you. I like to talk to people. That's what I do. There you go. This dude right here, Kyle Hubbard, is going to be at Fly Fest 2012. This is D. Landry of One Entity Productions, Fly Fest 2012, May 19th. 19th. Be there. Get your tickets now or be. Every time I hit the water, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat, I'll be, I'll be turning heat. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat, I'll be, I'll be turning heat.